Remember Kennywood? Have you ever wondered why roller coasters stay on their tracks and why people can hang upside down in them? A roller coaster does not have an engine to generate energy. The climb up the first hill is accomplished by a lift or cable that pulls the train up. This builds up a supply of potential energy that will be used to go down the hill as the train is pulled by gravity. Then all of that stored energy is released as kinetic energy which is what will get the train to go up the next hill. So as the train travels up and down hills its motion is constantly shifting between potential and kinetic energy. In the loop the loop upside down design it's inertia that keeps you in your seat. Inertia is the force that presses your body to the outside of the loop as the train spins around. Inertia is the force that presses your body to the outside of the loop as the train spins around. The loop must be elliptical rather than a perfect circle, otherwise the centripetal force would be too strong for safety and comfort. Newton's first law of motion states, an object in motion tends to stay in motion unless another force acts against it. On most roller coasters, the brakes are controlled by a computer system, but some older wooden roller coasters have manually operated brakes that are controlled by a large lever.